Two milestone treatments for sickle cell disease now have the approval of the Food and Drug Administration. Sickle cell is a group of inherited blood disorders most common in African Americans. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is working for you to learn more about this treatment option. And Valerie, we understand there are the first, these are the first gene therapies which use a gene editing tool called CRISPR. Now, how does this work? Muriel, these therapies are for patients 12 years and older. The director of the Adult Sickle Cell Clinic at UAB explained it like this. The goal of the therapy is to help the person make enough healthy hemoglobin to prevent red blood cells from sickling or becoming sticky. Fred Delbridge describes what it's like living with sickle cell disease. You never know what the day might bring. Because like, you'll be fine one minute. In the next second, like, pain from nowhere. The 39-year-old says as he's gotten older, the pain has gotten worse. We have two types of pain, you know what I'm saying? Tolerable and intolerable. UAB's Director of Adult Sickle Cell Clinic, Dr. Julie Cantor, says the FDA's approval of gene therapy brings a lot of hope for people living with sickle cell disease. They significantly, if not completely, eradicate and get rid of these horrible, painful events that take over people's lives with sickle cell. So they are truly transformative. While Cantor says this is transformative, she adds it's not a cure and there are some unknowns. Are the kidneys completely protected? Is the brain completely protected? Are individuals who are receiving this therapy no longer at risk for some of the sickle cell disease complications that can cause early mortality? And unfortunately, we don't know that yet. The treatment is also difficult to manufacture and requires months of preparation for patients and their families. Delbridge is skeptical, but hopes in the future. I hope, you know what I'm saying, they find a cure someday and not experiments because that's what, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying, like, and, like, I hope that people be able to afford it. Now, a few statistics about sickle cell disease. Nearly 1,000 children receive treatment at Children's of Alabama, and more than 100,000 people in the U.S. have sickle cell disease. Live in Birmingham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.